in California City at Hacienda Elementary School, and today we're here to... Hacienda Elementary School, and I've got Tanil with me. How are you? Good. You ready? Yes. We're going to compare numbers, but we have no numbers. So how about if you select one? Any number you want between 1 and 99. Why did you select 50? I don't know. I just like the number. You like the number? All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to select a number also. I like 23. Select another number. Sixty-five. I'm going to go with seven point eight. We'll throw some decimal in there. Now you can either choose another decimal number or a whole number. It's up to you. An excellent choice right there. So now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take all of these numbers. We have five different numbers, and I'd like you to put them in order from smallest to largest. So how do you think you're going to go about this? What's your first thought? To put 90 in front. You think 90 is going to be the largest one? Yes. Okay, so how about, all right, we have five numbers, right? How about we do this? We do one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five places we're going to put the numbers. So which one do you think goes at the end? You said 90.3? Wait, greatest to smallest? Well, we're gonna, you want to go greatest to smallest or smallest to greatest? Greatest to smallest. All right, let's do that. All right, so which one goes first, the greatest number? Okay, so I'm just going to put a little mark so we know we've used that one, okay? Which one goes next? Why? Because 7.8 is... But isn't 7 bigger than 6? Yes, but it's not a two-digit number. This is... Correct, right? That's the whole number 65. This is the whole number 7 and only 8 tenths of a number, right? That's a part. Yes. So perfect explanation on that. So you're going to go with 65 next? Yes. Okay. What's next? You sure? Because once again, 7 is bigger than 5. Yes, but this is a two-digit number. All right, same thing, huh? All right. Got 50 out of the way. What's next? Same reason? Yes. All right. Let's finish it up. What's the first number? 90.3. Do you know another way to say that? because the decimal point means and. Have you guys done place value with tenths, hundredths, thousandths yet? Yes. You have? Okay, yes. so can you think of another way? Do you remember how that might be said? So say the whole number first. What's the whole number? 90. 90. When you see a decimal point, you say the word and. And, perfect. So 90 and. Three. Three what? Tenths. tenths. Okay, because the first part is going to be tenths. The next one would be hundredths. All right? So if this is 90 and 3 tenths, can you read the last one for me? 7 and 8 tenths. Tanil, nicely done. 